Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion and hosted by iClone3D. I'm Trista Ross and today we're going to be looking at how we can animate a character being hit by a car. For most stunt mocap performers, usually they're going to tend to prepare before they get hit to protect themselves from any injury. So this video is going to show you how to make an impactful sudden crash let the body react to the car surface and naturally roll and level out to the ground. So we're going to be utilizing the foot and hand contact feature for assisting the relationship between the character and the floor. And we're going to be using the edit motion layer tool to fine tune the pose of the actual animation. Okay, so if we take our clip here in the scene and we just play that back, you're going to see we've got this character who walks presumably into the road and she gets hit by a car. Now you can see she kind of goes through the car and you know we've got to kind of fix that and fine tune it. So what we're gonna firstly do to begin the process is we're just gonna break the clip to reduce the duration of the hit moment. And then we're simply gonna cut it at the two points, delete the middle one, and then we're gonna blend them as we like. And this way we've just kind of reduced the amount of time it takes as she gets hit and it just kind of speeds that up. And then we can blend them two clips together and you'll see that will blend nicely. And we can just further extend these little clips here. And now what we're gonna to wanna to do is, because the character leaves the ground when she's hit, we can actually turn the IK effectors off and we can tweak the position and the actual rotation of the hips directly. So very simple to do. As you can see here, all I'm doing is kind of adjusting the position she is. Um, remember to turn off the IK effector and then we can adjust the position and the rotation. So really, really simple to do. Um, next, what we're gonna do is we're just trying to make the position properly in this case. And we can use the reset key to make the current frame back to the original pose. And again, just tweaking the position and fine tuning it just to get that in perfect relation to her being hit by the car. And if we watch that back, you can see that now it looks like it's in a nice relation with the character actually being hit by the car. Now, sometimes we can switch the FK mode to tweak the rotation easily. For the first section, we can use the edit motion layer tool to edit the mocap animation interacting with the vehicle in this scene properly. So we're just gonna kind of tweak and fine tune the positioning of the different body parts. And now we can see the arm doesn't go through the car no more. And we can see, uh, you know, it's looking really, really smooth, realistic. And, you know, it really looks like she reacts to that car. And again, we can just kind of, you know, fine tune it, blend it in a little bit more. And what we can do now is we can actually bake the animations by flattening all the motion with constraints. We're gonna tweak the animation further here. So we're just gonna flatten that first. And then we're gonna to go to this point in the timeline and create a new animation layer. And all we're gonna be doing here is we're just gonna make the adjustments so the height is proper to the floor for this character here. So, you know, just using this edit motion layer with the IK effectors turned off to just position her in the right place. And, you know, you can fine tune this really easily and simply. And, you know, for when the foot pokes through the floor here, we can just tweak the position directly and just get that alleviated through the floor. So, you know, really, really simple to do. We can enable the foot and hand contact. They'll detect the floor automatically and avoid the poking issues where they show up. So really simple to do. We just turn these on and you can see the difference it makes here the foot is now contacting with the floor. So we can just position this how we please and just get that looking great. There'll be other issues with the foot bottom with the face of the floor. And you know, we can just tweak that as we see fit. And we're gonna use the body part mode to tweak the foot specifically. So we'll need to tweak every pose, which is like this situation. And again, all we're doing is using the edit motion layer and just making these little tweaks and adjustments. Really, really, really simple to do. And, you know, it just really gives us great kind of results when we watch it back. Now, we strongly, I'm gonna strongly recommend that you use the animation layer to manage the tweaking of body parts, because, you know, you don't wanna kind of interfere with some of the different tweaks in different kind of layers. So if you just make different separate layers, you can adjust and tweak them in different parts accordingly. Now the legs poking into the vehicle here, we need to fix that as well, as you can see. So again, just using the edit motion layer just to adjust it and reposition the leg, you know, pretty simple to do. Remember to keep the IK effectors off. 
And then we can add a reset key to actually recover the original pose of the animation. And you can see we're still using the body part mode to avoid setting so many keys for the unnecessary body parts. So, you know, you don't want to kind of overset keys that you don't need. So if we watch it back, you can see here, you know, it looks incredible. It really looks like she gets hit by the car and then bounces to the ground. And if we check out the before, you can see clearly here she goes through the car and, you know, it doesn't look very realistic at all. And in the after, again, as we just saw, you'll see the same action, but this time she'll react perfectly with the car and it just looks really, really incredible. So I really hope that helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.